In this video, I want to show you how to recode categorical variables in Stata, a very useful function. You may find yourself needing to do this for a couple of reasons. First, you may need to reorder the response categories of a nominal or ordinal variable. This may be as easy as reverse coding, which can be done with the REVRS command, which I show you in another video, but sometimes it involves a more complicated reordering. Second, you may need to collapse response categories, either because you have too few observations in some categories, or conceptually it makes sense to simplify your responses into fewer categories. This includes creating dummy or dichotomous variables out of existing multi-category variables. First, let's reorder the response categories in a variable. Here I've codebooked a variable called trust. Given the name, one might assume that as one goes up in value that the level of trust increases. You can see that this is not the case. The values currently go from the most trust to the least and then depends, which conceptually would seem to belong in the middle. To reorder these categories, you'd start by going to the data menu, create or change data, other variable transformation commands, recode categorical variable. In the first window, you type the name of the variable you wish to recode, in this case, trust. In the second field, you input your rules for recoding. If I click on the dropdown, you'll see some examples of these rules. Better yet, if I click on the Help menu, we can see what these formats actually mean. So you can see that pound equals pound, an example would be 3 equals 1, meaning 3 is recoded to the value of 1. Pound space pound equals pound, an example would be 2 and missing now equal 9. Or pound slash pound equals pound, 1 slash 5 equals 4, meaning 1 through 5 are now recoded to a value of 4, and so on. Over time, these formats will become quite familiar to you. In this case, I'm going to have a value of 1 be recoded as 3, and I'm also going to include the value label. And you can do that by just simply spacing and then in quotes, inserting the value label, parenthesis. Next, I'm going to have 2 equal 1. So you can't be too careful, it will now be valued as a 1. And now again, I'll include the value label. And finally, in parentheses, 3 equals 2 depends. Now I'll click on the Options tab, and instead of replacing the existing variable, which is the default, I want to generate new variables. In this case, I'm just going to call it Trust R for Trust Recode. Notice there's a third option where you simply will generate new variables with the prefix new or whatever you specify the prefix to be. You can also specify a name for the value label set defined by your transformation commands. In this case, I'm going to call it trust r to match up with the variable I'm creating. And then finally, I like to check this box, test that rules are invoked and do not overlap. Go ahead and hit OK. You can see it's a rather complicated code, not one you would probably remember, so it's easier to go through the menu system. But now, with that variable having been created, I'm going to codebook the new variable trust r. And now you can see that it's in the intuitive order that one might expect. So that's how you do a more complicated reordering of categories. Well, let's say you have a variable like this, health. It's an ordinal variable, an intuitive direction. But let's say you want to dichotomize this variable and create a new one called diminished health or dim health. And you want a value of 1 to equal poor or fair health and a value of 0 for anybody who says good, very good, or excellent. So how would I do that? First, you'd go to data, create or change data, other variable transformation commands, recode categorical variable. The variable I'm going to be recoding is health. Now keep in mind that I'm going to call the new variable dim health for diminished health. In that case, I want 0 or 1 in health to be the new 1. So what I'll do is I'm simply going to go 0 space 1 equals 1 quotes diminished health parenthesis. 
And now I want anything 2 through 4, so 2 slash 4 equals 0. We'll call those folks healthy. And now in the Options tab, I'm going to generate a new variable, and I'm going to call it dim health. And I'm also going to indicate a name for the new value label set. I'll call that dim health as well. And test that rules are invoked and do not overrun. Go ahead and hit OK. Let me code book the new variable. And there you can see I still have 10 missing that were missing in the original health variable. And now people who have a value of 1, undiminished health, there's 532 corresponding to the number of people who had poor or fair health in the health question, and the 3,843 people who had good, very good, or excellent health are now valued at zero. Finally, I'd like to show you a convenient command for changing a categorical variable, either ordinal or nominal, into a set of dummies. It's actually quite simple. In the command window, you'd simply type tabulate, and then the name of your categorical variable. Here I've codebooked ethnic four so you can see it, so I'll just go ahead and use that and then comma, gen, and then parentheses, again, the name of the variable, parentheses, and hit return. And if I scroll down in my variable window, you'll see what happened is it created ethnic 4.1, ethnic 4.2, ethnic 4.3, and ethnic 4.4, essentially creating a dummy for each one of those categories.